In 2008, Pluto shifted into the sign of Capricorn, a time that will forever be remembered as one of the darkest periods in U.S. economic history. The Great Recession saw thousands lose their jobs and entire businesses collapse, leaving a lasting impact on millions of people across the nation. However, this wasn't only a period of hardships. It was also an opportunity for growth and resilience. Pluto remained in Capricorn until March 23rd, 2023, when it transitioned into Aquarius. However, the Pluto return for the United States, which officially reached its natal degree on February 22nd, 2022, isn't exactly over. On January 27th, 2008, Pluto entered Capricorn for the first time in 248 years, dipping into Sagittarius between June and November 2008, then re-entering Capricorn just until March 2023. On June 12th, 2023, Pluto will re-enter Capricorn and stay there until January 22nd, 2024, when Pluto re-enters Aquarius. It will make another dip back into Capricorn on September 1st, 2024, until November 20th, 2024, when Pluto re-enters Aquarius for the long haul until March 2043. When Pluto dips back into Capricorn in these periods, it's believed to bring more economic hardship, restrictions, and limitations of resources. However, Pluto also brings the opportunity to reflect on past mistakes and create a new foundation that is stronger than before. If we take this time to learn from our experiences and make changes that are necessary for the future, then there is much to look forward to during this period. 2022 was also a time of great change and marked the beginning of a new era, signifying the end of the old ways of doing things. Watch for big shifts in the collective landscape as Pluto dips back into Capricorn the last few times until 2024. More specifically, Pluto moves backward through a retrograde motion into Capricorn from June to January 2024, then from September 1st, 2024 to November 19, 2024, or November 20th. So throughout these periods, we're going to see an increase in tension and upheaval, which will force the collective to prepare for intense introspection. The United States Pluto return is an important historical event that will ultimately shape its future over the next several decades. By paying attention to what transpires during these periods of intense transformation, we can ensure that the nation is better prepared for what lies ahead. These brief Pluto transitions back into Capricorn in 2023 and 2024 could bring about significant changes in people's lives. From renewed financial stability to shifts in attitudes and values. Throughout this period, people will have a chance to rebuild and make remarkable strides toward a better future. However, while it's bouncing between the long-term stay of Pluto and Aquarius, themes of collective equality, technological advances, environmental consciousness will be brought to the forefront. The Pluto return for the United States has been an important time in history and a critical opportunity for people to move forward into a better future. It's up to the U.S. to use this period wisely and strive towards creating a better tomorrow. Pluto and Capricorn in the final years of the return. These final moments of the U.S. Pluto return have been met with a sort of frantic energy that has exhausted people since the financial crisis, thanks to Pluto and Capricorn in 2008. As Pluto has been transitioning from Capricorn back into Aquarius, we've had the chance to reflect on how far we have come since then and how much farther we need to go. Pluto and Capricorn is a time of intense transformation that can be difficult for many people. When it's time to face our greatest fears and challenge the status quo, it can feel overwhelming and scary, especially as Capricorn raises issues of financial stability, career, reputation, and success. The U.S. Pluto return has been a time to reflect on all progress as a nation and take necessary steps toward achieving greater economic stability, social justice, and environmental consciousness. As the U.S. moves past this period of transition through the long-term stay of Pluto and Aquarius for the next few decades, they are presented with an opportunity to create a future that they desire, especially one that benefits the collective 
rather than a few plutocrats that Capricorn highlighted. It will be up to the collective to be bold and courageous enough to make the changes needed to ensure a better tomorrow for themselves and future generations. This period offers an opportunity to make long-lasting changes that will set everyone up for success in the future. By examining history and learning from past mistakes, we can prepare ourselves better for what lies ahead during these moments of transition. For those who are brave enough to step into the unknown, there is immense potential for great progress. Now is the time for us to embrace this opportunity with boldness and courage. The United States Pluto return has been a monumental event, one that will shape the nation's future for decades to come. By paying attention to what transpires during these final periods of intense transformation, the people of the U.S. can be better prepared for whatever lies ahead. With eyes focused on the future and a commitment to making a positive change, the collective can move forward into a brighter tomorrow. The Fourth Turning In 1997, Neil Howe and William Strauss wrote a book called The Fourth Turning, which essentially described generational theory, which has both been praised and criticized, but if you haven't read it, now might be the time to give it a go. In the book, Neil and Strauss state that history moves in 80-year cycles that stretch back thousands of years, reflecting the timeline of the ancient Greeks. The United States in its current form has gone through 80-year cycles of these intense conflicts that trigger four 20-year periods referred to as a high, an awakening, an unraveling, and crisis mode. For the current bracket in the United States, the high began with the end of World War II and continued through 1964. Then came the awakening from 1964 to 1984, where we saw civil rights protests through innovation in music and the arts and technology. LGBTQ rights, women's rights, and the pursuit of happiness were also themes of the awakening, which was a brief period of the U.S.'s enlightenment. Then when Reagan was re-elected in 1984, this triggered the unraveling. From 1984 to 2008 was a period where we saw the fall of the Soviet Union and the rise of Russian mafiosos and oligarchs, which created the stage of uber-capitalist Russia we see invading Ukraine today. It also set the current political and economic climate in the U.S. in motion with infotainment news and well-curated propaganda that has intentionally divided the U.S. You can read more about that in the book called Democracy in Chains by Nancy McLean or watch the documentary The Brainwashing of My Dad. None of this is happening by accident, but it is also telling of the remnant age of Pisces mentality we need to shake off if we're to survive in the age of Aquarius. Additionally, in this unraveling period, we saw 9-11 and an explosion of wars, mass shootings as a norm in the U.S., riots and more societal and global suffering. Continuing with this theory is the fourth 20-year quarter that we are now in, which is crisis mode. This period is from 2008 to 2028. This predicts a major financial crisis as we saw in 2008, with extreme political divides, a global pandemic, mass unemployment, and economic despair. In short, if the U.S. doesn't get it together before 2028, we are likely to see another major world war, or the U.S. will experience a major war within its confines that will have repercussions throughout the world. However, there is a key to who plays what role in what happens next. Each of the four generations that makes up a seculum of 80 years gets assigned an identity. Prophets, nomads, heroes, and artists. Each cohort embodies an archetype that will play a part in moving us into the next 80-year cycle. 1946 to 1964, or the Boomer Generation, are known as the Prophets. They are part of predicting the future for better or worse, and have had a large stake in the current crises as well as having those who predicted our current winter phase including the writers of this book. The next cohort that was born in the Awakening era from 1964 to 1984, mostly Gen X and part of the millennial generation, are referred to as the nomads. This is a generation about transportation and travel, getting us from one phase or event to the next while innovating in all things pertaining to movement. While millennials are said to have been born from 1981 onward, let's move on to this next cohort. The greater chunk of millennials and part of Gen Z born from 1984 to 2008 are known as the heroes. This generation will play an integral part in the next major conflict 
where we see millennials or heroes battling the prophets or the boomer generation in the current system they've created. Finally, we have Gen Z and Alpha, born between 2008 and 2028, known as the artists. From this generation, we will get our next wave of incredible artists, authors, poets, musicians, and creatives that will define culture and soft power. This winter phase we are in is what's called the fourth turning or crisis mode, where heroes square off with the prophets. This was predicted to hit a tipping point in the US in 2020. Think of the pandemic and the presidential election and a restructuring of the US economy that is set to occur in 2026. With that said, throughout this Pluto return, we already got a sense of what is fueling the fire, but the remnants of the old social order, especially political and economic, are set to collapse and will disintegrate. Trust in politicians and institutions is set to disintegrate and genuine strife is to come, as well as severe distress that will also raise questions about the interweaving of oppression in the current system surrounding social justice issues, such as colonialism, class warfare, bigotry, discrimination, nationalism, and the notion of empire. From 2022 to 2024, the US will need to take a good long look in the mirror and address its karmic issues, generational trauma, who it has victimized, and who has been eating the bread of shame, taking from others to feed a bottomless appetite. 2023 will be a buffer era, when many solutions to modern problems need to come to light and be considered. Sometime before the start of 2025, the US will feel this pinch and its survival in the age of crisis and unrest. The millennial or hero generation is currently wounded from the socioeconomic devastation caused by the boomer or profit generation and the wealth they had squandered or hoarded as the US income gap widens and people are starting to ask more questions about where their money is really going or why they can't have what they need like a modernized healthcare system. Essentially, there are two main paths to travel with this Pluto return for the United States. It could fully erupt into a violent internal war, but one possibility is a Gilead-like authoritarian patriarchal takeover that crushes the majority under the wheel using advanced technology to hijack the wheel, or a new age path that is more in line with Aquarius that is mindful of the collective, is forward thinking, and ready to come out of the dark night of the soul. While astronomers argue that we have been in the age of Pisces since about 68 BCE, we won't officially be in the age of Aquarius until 2597. However, this period of Pluto and Aquarius is going to be taking us through March 9th, 2043. Conclusion. When Pluto comes back around into Capricorn, it brings with it potent energies that can cause us to re-examine how we live our lives. It may be tempting to focus on what has been taken away during this difficult time in history, but instead we should take the time to reflect on all that has been given and gained. The United States Pluto return provided an opportunity for reflection and growth, as well as a chance to start moving forward once more and creating something new from the ashes of what has been. The collective can use this opportunity to create a better and more equitable future for everyone in the United States. The U.S. Pluto return may be turbulent times, but it will bring about much needed change in U.S. society, ushering in a new era of freedom, liberation, justice, and peace if it is truly desired. However, if the U.S. stands firm in hyper-individualism, the collective energy of Pluto and Aquarius could bring about police states managed by advanced technology, extracting fear from the collective. In the face of two paths, as in anything in life, the collective has to decide which path they're willing to fight for. These patterns with Pluto remind us that even during our darkest times, we still have the power to hope and dream of something better. However, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Act accordingly.